ready? Show them one. Put your hand. Two, three. Hi guys! Say hi guys! I have my shirt! I know we're gonna get your shirt on. Stand up, show them your outfit. Show them your, your cool jeans. So cute. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's currently Halloween night. I'm getting Christian ready. We're gonna do him in a little lumberjack costume. We're actually running really late, but I really wanted to make a vlog tonight so I have something to look back on on his Halloween and everything. We're gonna go meet up with my family. He has a little bit of a cold, so we're gonna go trick-or-treating at this event that they have inside um, so I don't have to take him outside and get him more sick. But I'm gonna put him in a little flannel with these roll-up jeans and put like a little beard on him. Sweetie, stop! <laughs> You're crazy. Um, and I think the lumberjack, okay, I am not feeling my look today. I think the lumberjack costume is gonna be so cute. For me, I think I'm gonna wear jeans and a, Christian, don't hit mommy. No. You're so cute, but no. I'm gonna wear a little black bodysuit and some cat ears. So I'm gonna put him in his lumberjack costume and like do his beard right now. I'll show you guys how I do it. Cause we're kind of in a, <laughs> life of a toddler. We're kind of in a rush. So yeah, let's get ready. in like these cuffed up jeans or should I put him in um, overalls for the lumberjack outfit? I saw both of the ideas on Pinterest. Wow. Um, and they're both gonna be so cute, but he has overalls and he has jeans. I'm not sure which one we're gonna end up with, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, now stand up, we're gonna do your hat. Stand up. Go right there. We're gonna show him, okay? Oh my gosh, you are looking so cute. Put your hat on. Oh, you're gonna be a lumberjack. Yeah! Okay. I'm a lumberjack. Okay, hold on, we gotta tuck this in. Put your arms up. Hands up. Okay, now put your hands down. Down. Because you're really tall, so we're gonna have to. I'm really tall. You're really tall, yeah. Nah. You're so cute. No. You excited to be a lumberjack? Lumberjack. <laughs> oh my god, you look so cute. I can't. Mom. Tell him, say, I'm all ready. All ready. Look how cute you look. You want to hold it? Yeah. Say hi, guys. Hi. Okay, hold on, hold on. When you hold it, they can't see you. You're too far away. So you got a little hat on, a little beard, a flannel, Where's some, uh, uh, what are they called, overalls. I was just about to say welcome back to my channel, but we're already in the middle of a vlog. Bitch, get it together. Uh, what's up though, guys? It's the next day. Uh, so last night, I vlogged getting Christian ready for Halloween and everything, um, and I wasn't like vlogging driving or anything, but my camera died whenever we had got there, and the event we were actually going to was outside. It wasn't, I thought it was like inside this huge church by my house where there was gonna be like a ton of families, and it was like a trunk or treat type of situation. Um, but it ended up being outside, which is fine. I still brought my camera and I was still trying to take, I got actually a few pictures of Christian. There's one, rude. Uh, there's one on my Instagram if you guys wanna see. He was a little lumberjack. Oh my gosh, he looked so cute. Everyone gave him so many compliments on the little beard that I drew him. Um, but yeah, my camera ended up dying so I couldn't get vlog footage. So I wanted to continue this vlog into the next day. So what is today actually? Uh, 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 okay, for real though, what's today? Uh, today is, uh, uh, uh. Tuesday, is today Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. Uh, yeah, today's Tuesday, November 1st actually, so happy first of the month, I guess. Uh, currently I'm editing a video, I was on my computer here. I, Christian had preschool this morning, so I went to the gym, 
got a really good like 20 minutes of lifting weights and then I did some cardio then I went and got my nails done a lot of you are asking on snapchat what the color is but you guys it's just white I don't know like if it's a specific white color I know that the brand is called DND &D, which is what my like salon carries um, I haven't had nails on for so long because I've been trying to save money and I don't know, it just feels really nice to have them back. So yeah, these rings are from Charlotte Russe if anyone cares. Um, but yeah, I my room is actually clean for once in my life. Like, hi, like who am I? My room is never clean. Um, but anyways, yeah, I've just been sitting at my desk. Let me see, where can I put you guys? I'm actually loving vlogging lately and you guys gave me the best, like, can you see me? You guys too gave me the best comments when I put up a vlog last week. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep vlogging. Got anywho, editing a video, I'm just drinking some tea. Um, this cup is my life. I've shopped all my life and I still have nothing to wear. Ladies, give this video a thumbs up if this is you. If anyone cares, I'm drinking the Fit Life, not Fit Tea, Fit Life Tea, which is actually pink. It's like a pinky purple color, if you can see. I talked about this on my channel like over a year ago. Love it. Um, but yeah, anywho, I am editing let me show y'all what I'm editing. Is it uploading? Oh, come on. It's like a tenth of the way done. So I'm editing an iMovie because you guys know my laptop got water damage. So I moved back to using my iMac. So I'm in iMovie instead of Final Cut Pro, which sucks because Final Cut's way better. But I'm editing this video for tonight, which is um, a video on how to make more money and attract more wealth into your life, which this video is already up by now. Um, so you can go check it out on my channel. But I got a new little end clip that I want to show you guys, which I thought was cute. Let me know if you guys know this song. Bye guys. Rascal Flats, anyone? I used to be obsessed with them, actually. Can't lie, I'm still obsessed with them. Uh, I don't know if they've come out with anything new lately. If you know, let your girl know. But I've seen them in concert twice, and the main guy, his voice, prestige, amazing. So anywho, I've just been on YouTube, um, and oh, I wanted to show you guys as well. As soon as I pull up my internet page, you can see right here. I was watching this video earlier because, okay, let me, let me just give you the lowdown, getting the good lighting. So basically, I'm already starting to make my Christmas list for Christian, for his toys and stuff, and what I want to get him. I'm like budgeting out what I should buy because when you have a kid, you literally want to buy everything. Am I right, mamas out there? Uh, but I don't want to overspend, but I do still want to give him an amazing Christmas, and I'm trying to set aside money this month and the beginning of December to be able to get him a bunch of toys and stuff, but I do not want to get him toys that are super expensive from like Toys R Us and stuff that maybe he's not gonna get the full use out of or like that he's gonna play with once and be done with it. So I'm actually making a list based off a few different websites and one of you moms actually gave me a recommendation for this YouTube channel. So I wanted to show it to you guys because I know a ton of you guys are moms out there who watch my videos and vlogs because you've commented about it. So one of you guys told me about this channel, it's called Toy Notes. So I'm basically watching right now a review for this little toy here. It's a Fur Real Friends Torch My Blazing Dragon. It, that's like what the toy is called. Um, they let you know if the toy is worth the price, uh, basically what the toy does, where you can buy it, and like what, like this toy is electronic, so she's gonna let you know like how it moves, like what it does, if it's like worth the value. I've gotten Christian like um, different kinds of like car, like racetracks and stuff that he doesn't even use, so it's cool to know like which items are actually worth it and good, and I like to get Christian toys that are educational too. Um, so like they have so many reviews the girl who does these main reviews Kelsey. She's so sweet She has a really good personality like you're not gonna be sitting there watching a boring channel like come on now uh, But if you guys have toddlers, I think you guys would absolutely love this you can you can literally learn I think she reviews like I'm not sure every like new toy that comes out. It seems like um, They have tons of videos on here, but she just lets you know like there's guys toys here or like little boys little girls my little pony like you can get the lowdown on basically what kind of toy it is, what it does, to see if your kid is gonna like it. So anywho, thank you Megan for the comment about that channel. I've been checking it out, I need to check it out more, but I'm kind of making a little list for my son of what I wanna get him for Christmas. So I'll leave that channel in the down bar if you have kids. Check it out, check out what that toy, what that $80 toy does before you buy it. 
But anyways, yeah, okay. So moving on into my my kitchen. Oh, for, oh, okay, lighting, come through. Um, you guys have never seen my kitchen clean because I can't lie, my house is messy all the time. I have a three and a half year old, gets messy every day. I'm someone who likes to go to bed with a clean house, so I do clean everything up and vacuum every night and go to bed with a clean house. But during the day, like I can't lie, it gets messy all the time. Uh, but my kitchen is super clean right now, so might as well just show you guys. When you come into my kitchen, it's actually, it's pretty nice, little, you know, standard apartment kitchen. Uh, but all my dishes and everything are done today, so hey! Got my little motivation board on the fridge because, hello, daily affirmations, why not? But I did get another, or another, I got a package today. I don't get like a crap ton of packages, but I do get a few, so let's see what's in here. Um, knife? Where you at? Don't hide! Literally, I feel crazy right now. I'm like on camera with a knife. This is like those story times where people are like, I got kidnapped. Uh, I mean, I'm all about that clickbait, but I'm not about like that extreme, crazy ass clickbait life. Anywho, um, okay, so yeah, I got a package today. Let's see what's in here. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I didn't know this was coming today. So what this is, you guys, is my new meal prep bag. Sweet, uh, I actually thought this was coming in like two or three days. The shipping was super quick. I'm gonna show you guys here. This is from Jack's Fitness. Um, this is the exact same meal prep bag that I had last year, and I lost two or three of the containers, so I will show you. Ugh, yes. You guys know I've been like obsessed with doing meal prep videos lately. So this is a little bag right here, and as you can see in my pantry, I bought myself this one last year, which is dirty as hell, and I lost some of the Tupperwares that it came with. I bought that one when it was on a Groupon uh, for $39.99, and then it went back up to $69, and now it's back down to $39, so I snagged another one, and hint, hint, might be giving one away to you guys. Correction, I will definitely be giving one away to you guys. So anyways, I ordered another one. This is really cool because it opens here. Oh, do we need scissors? Okay, I see you. Okay, we're back. So um, yeah, these little meal prep bags are so cool because you open them here and then you actually get an ice pack. It comes with everything you need. So basically you get, or no, is this an ice pack? I think there's an ice pack in here. Okay, my bad. Girl, okay, let me start over and get my shit together. So there's a little um, pill case here which you could put like your supplements or whatever, your pre-workout. You have an ice pack and then you have six meal prep um, containers Plus you have your water bottle, which is also a shaker cup. There's a little thing at the bottom. Um, and these are all like portioned out for you. So you can make actually make six meals and take it with you throughout the day. So I love this. Again, completely purchased my own. You guys saw the other one I had in there. I had that one last year actually. I kept it for a whole year. So it was time for a new one. Um, I will leave this in the bottom bar if you wanna get one because I got questions on it on Snapchat. So I believe they're back down to $39.99. If there's any other deal to make it even cheaper, I'll leave it down there for you guys. And I know that they have like other colors and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to make more meals today because I think I'm gonna be making, well, I did some videos last week, but this week, I think every week now, I'm gonna do a meal prep video. So this week I have some tofu and like brown rice, broccoli and green bean like mixture that I'm gonna do. Um, and I'm actually gonna be taking this with me all week because now that my son starts preschool early in the morning I do need like a little bag to take some meals with me and if you guys have looked up like six-pack bags or um, Fit bags or whatever. I've seen a bunch on like fitness Instagrams. They're like 80 to 100 dollars This mama don't got money for that So anywho, oh, I wanted to show you guys something else. Let me go here in my laundry room I have these um, boxes in here of all these memories of me of when I was growing up. Oh my god. I'm gonna show you guys some shit right now some pictures of me and stuff You're gonna shit your pants. Where are they? I have like three okay like memory boxes. I'm gonna show you guys You're gonna get a glimpse of how I looked when I was like five up until like 20 like do you guys keep memory boxes like yes. Hi. Um, and I actually found one of my old journals in here as well. And I was reading through it and it got me really sad. So let me put this stuff down. I'm really liking this vlogging life, but it's like, it's, it's a workout for my arms. Okay, let me set you down. Okay, back in business. Um, we're just like, I'm just like sitting in my living room right now. 
the curtains are coming through kind of weird. Hopefully you guys can see me all right. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share a little bit with you guys. I found these memory boxes the other day in my laundry room. Um, and as I, as I, okay, can I talk? As I've like grown up throughout life, my parents were always the type to take tons of pictures of me and my siblings and like have photo memory books, which I love, like crazy now to look back on that stuff and realize when I was five or 10 or 12, how I looked, what my interests were and all this stuff. So that's a huge thing I'm doing for my son as well and why I wanna do more vlogs and have more video with him on it to look back on. I think it's so cool. Um, but I found a ton of this stuff last night because I was up high in my laundry room trying to get more new laundry detergent because I ran out and I found these boxes and I was like, what is in here? Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I found a bunch of stuff. So I know a lot of you are like newer to my channel and you might not know too much about me or like how I grew up or anything. So I found a ton of pictures. I wanna actually show you guys. And then I'm gonna read you guys a journal entry that I found because I used to keep journals all the time. I was all about that journaling life every night. And I also had like pen pal journals between me and a few friends at school. We would like write notes and then pass the book to the friend and they'd bring it back to school the next day with a little note in it. Did anyone else do that? Um, but yeah, I found one of my journal entries from like 2003 and it like literally broke my heart. It was really sad. So I want to share that with you guys. So first I want to share, let me see how many like older pictures. Oh my God. This is embarrassing. Okay. What year is this? Doesn't say what year this is, but this was my school picture. <laughs> Look at what a little cheese ball. Oh my God. I think this was third or fourth grade. Don't know about that hair girl. That necklace. Mmm. Don't know about that middle part. And then this was another year. Oh my jeez, girl. Well, I look kind of cute in this one. I look kind of like, I don't know. It's so weird finding all these and like looking back on them. Oh, I had this phase where I was like really into raves. Like, hi. I went to like Cascade and EDC and all this stuff. That was a long time ago. I have so many pictures with my best friend Samantha because we've been friends forever. We went on trips together and all this stuff. Oh, I have a picture from one of my proms uh, with my old friend Laura. We were never like super close friends, but she was really tight. What up, Laura? Um, yeah, that was one of my proms. This picture of my brother on his birthday. What a freaking cutie face. And then this was when I was like swimming one night, I guess. I have no clue. Um, but yeah, I have tons of pictures to show you guys, but I want to find this little journal entry and share it with you because I think some of you guys are going to be able to relate, which is sad because it's actually like a sad journal entry. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and find that. So I found my journal. Uh, this was back from 2003 on the front. It says private Jordan's journey through life starting in 2003, 12 years old. Please don't read. Please don't read this unless given permission. Thank you. Wow, I was a little sassy pants. Okay, so I found this uh, page right here, and it's a journal entry that I wrote, uh, December 2nd of 2003, and it says, this is like what I wrote myself in my little pink marker. Uh, right now, this is the beginning of the journal entry. No hey, hi, hey journal. This is how my day was, this is right to the point. I wrote, right now I weigh around 127 to 128 pounds. I wanna be able to look at myself in the mirror and be proud. Over summer, I want to lose weight and go back to school really fit. I try to eat healthy, but I can never stick to it. But now I'm really determined. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna try super hard to eat healthy and exercise. Over summer, I want to lose 16 pounds. By the end of summer, I want to be able to wear a size five in everything. Peace out, Jordan. So that was my journal entry just for that day. Um, and I read this last night, and I don't know if it's because I was in my feels last night because I was like getting on my period and I was all hormonal. I read that journal entry last night, you guys, and it like stabbed me in the heart. Like, I, I'm not exaggerating when I say like, that breaks my heart that as someone who has been on a weight loss journey for so long, um, even the other day I was trying to ask myself, trying to think back to when was the earliest memory that I was trying to get in shape and felt overweight and felt out of the group and just felt like the odd one out. And then I read this and I realized at 12 years old, this makes me wanna cry, at 12 years old, my life revolved around not feeling good enough not feeling thin enough and already wanting to lose weight. Like, that literally breaks my heart, you guys. Especially me having a son now, I can't imagine him at 10, 11, 12, his number one worry in life being his weight. Like, it's this just puts it in perspective to me for how long I've been trying to get fit and having a struggle with eating healthy and like just feeling like I didn't have any friends because I was overweight and I wasn't like a popular kid. I guess I didn't realize that my like weight and health 
worries and like worries of not feeling physically looking good enough started when I was 12 or even before that probably. I don't know, that just breaks my heart. Like at this, at when kids are so young like that and at 12, yeah, you're still like a kid. Like there's so many other things to be worried about in life and like especially just having Christian now and seeing his joy for life and all the fun activities and stuff he wants to do, I would never want any portion of his life to be weighed down, weighed down, uh, to be like weighed down or have a negative impact because he was worried about his weight or that he didn't fit in or didn't like look good. I don't know, that like really hit me so hard last night reading this and I went through and read like other journal entries that I wrote whenever I was younger. A lot of it was about like wanting to be popular and wanting to fit in like from a really young age, I just kind of always felt like the odd one out. And a lot of it did have to do with how I looked physically. And I remember I was always trying to diet and stuff. Um, the other day I was trying to think in college and in high school for how long I've been trying to lose weight, but I didn't realize that, it w that it's been since I was 12 or maybe even before that. So I don't know, that, that just broke my heart. And I'm sure some of you out there, I know a lot of you watch my videos are teenagers, maybe even younger than that. If you're 10 or 12 and you do watch my videos, like I just wanna tell you that shit is not important. I remember missing out on a lot of friends' birthday parties or pool parties because I didn't want to go because I was not confident and I didn't want to be around other people who were super thin or super popular, or super beautiful. I never thought of myself as like so beautiful or anything. And that breaks my heart because you should grow up, even if you don't think you're the most beautiful person, you should still be confident and love the person that you are and the body and the hair that you have. And like, I know some people think they're so ugly or they're not beautiful because they have like naturally super curly hair and they admire the girls with super pin straight hair. And the girls with super pin straight hair come home and cry to their moms because they think that they don't have curly wavy hair. And like, People are just so insecure growing up as well, like in middle school and high school, it really sucks and makes me sad that this is like the main focus of your life when you're that young. You shouldn't be worrying about anything like that. You should be having fun, making friends, making memories. So I don't know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you are in high school or college, I know it's extremely hard to not focus on that stuff, but just try to give yourself a break and honestly try to love yourself. If you're on a journey of losing weight or changing yourself physically or mentally, just try to be gentle with yourself and love yourself as you're in the process of becoming the person you want to be. It's gonna take time. I just don't want you guys to like go to school every day or not go to friends' birthdays or events because you don't feel good enough because Reading back through all this stuff last night, I definitely did not feel good enough for years and years, and I wish I could change that. I wish I could go back and have a much more fun middle school and high school experience and not be worried of what other people thought and just feel confident in myself, and I can't change that now. So all I can do is live in the moment that way and live positively for the rest of my life, but I can't change it back then. So if I can give you guys any advice and maybe alter the way you think about yourself, that will be extremely fulfilling for me. So yeah, I wanted to share with you guys that little article because I, or that little journal entry because I came across that last night. So yeah, if any of you guys are going through the same thing or anything, leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm loving vlogging. I'm gonna do it every week because my last two got great feedback from you guys. So thank you so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like vlogs. If you are new here, I do share a majority, or a majority, a variety of things on my channel with meal prep and chit chats and like vlogs now, just so many things. I would love if you would subscribe and you can always come follow me on social media if you'd like because my accounts are all public so I can chat with you guys easily over there. So yeah, I need to wake up little man so he doesn't sleep too long so he doesn't go to bed super late. Uh, probably go to the park soon, make some dinner. So yeah, I love you guys, signing off. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.